can't help but imagine that if uh, Sidney Hillman met the women of feministing, he would see in them the spirit and the feistiness of a Frances Perkins, of an Eleanor Roosevelt, or the women of the amalgamated clothing workers. Feministing's editors conceived as the site as a place, sort of a room of your own on the internet, in which the voice and work of younger feminists and social activists would be heard. But I can tell you that it's not just a place for younger women. Even though the interns at The Nation this afternoon, when I told them what I was doing, thought it was the coolest thing I'd done in my entire time at The Nation, <laughs> but so do our passel of fearless women columnists at The Nation, Katha Pollitt, Melissa Harris-Perry, Patricia Williams, Naomi Klein, they turn to feministing. And feministing is more than a media outlet, as outstanding as it is in that regard. It is an online community and an activist force. And in seven short years, feministing has come to exercise real influence over the way women and girls are represented in our culture, holding electeds and major media institution. Yes, even the big boys, I won't name names, but one of them's behind me, accountable for their coverage of women in a way that no one had really been doing before. It has, in short, feministing has made sure that female voices, younger female voices, are heard in this political culture. I can't think of a better week, uh, and I say that with some regret, than this one, to present the Hillman Award for blog journalism to feministing, a beacon of feminist sense and sensibility. I am Vanessa Valenti. Um, I'm a co-founder at Feministing, and this is our executive editor, Samita Mukhopadhyay. We are absolutely thrilled to be here. Thank you so much for the awesome intro, Katrina. So firstly, thank you so much to the Sydney Hellman Foundation, um, not only for this award, for, but for the incredibly important work that you do. Um, I think I speak for everybody at Feministing when I say that we are deeply honored to receive this prize and to be in the presence of such amazing company. Feministing celebrated uh, its seventh anniversary last month. And I don't think any of us would have imagined that today we'd be considered um, the largest online feminist community in the world. Everyone you know, around us uh, told us and continues to tell us that you know, feminism is dead, right? Um, young women are uninterested and apathetic. Uh, but this massive community that, that we and other feminist blogs have created over this time uh, proves that, you know, nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, the reality is that young women and, you know, young people are interested in social justice. You know, they want to know what's going on in the world and how they can engage in progressive and innovative ways. Um, but most of all, you know, they want their voices heard. Um, and that's really why we started Feministing. You know, we had uh, started it, yeah, to create a site that reported feminist news and to make feminist, feminism more accessible and palatable, but uh, perhaps most importantly, to utilize citizen journalism um, in order to provide this platform for young voices who are so often ignored. And what we're known for more than anything is our voice, right? And not necessarily our cutting edge traditional journalism. Um, we are the type of journalism that has establishment journalism quaking, right? Sh uh, shaking in their boots. Um, what we're known for more is mixing authentic voices with some facts, we use facts, we, we do some research, it happens, <laughs> with research and with, but what we're really known for is our analysis. And we're not afraid to curse once in a while, if you'll notice, our logo is actually the mud flap girl giving you the finger. <laughs> Uh, this unabashed and unapologetic display of female voice has garnered us quite a bit of attention, support, also a lot of hatred, as you can imagine, a lot of hate mail, um, but also a lot of supportive mail from young readers that have said that they were not feminists until they had come to feministing. I want to share one letter with you from a young woman named Charlotte. She wrote to us, Dear Feministing, I'm 13 years old and I love feministing.com. I started reading it about a year ago and am now addicted. Feminism is really great for me, especially in my teenage years. <laughs> Feminism makes me feel good about myself. 
It gives me confidence. So much, in fact, that when I got an assignment for my English class to write an essay titled, Why Me, Why Not?, I decided to write about abstinence-only education. I had to put up with a lot of crap, both from classmates who said, what's wrong with not having sex? And my douchebag teacher, <laughs> it's supposed to be about optimism. You sound angry and bitter in your essay. I thought, ooh, feminists are angry and bitter. That's original. <laughs> but it was totally worth it. There I was, bitching about something I cared about, and it felt great. I like to think I did something semi-important and cool. That's Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one of many vocal readers that we have, and we very much wouldn't be what we are today if it weren't for our community and for our very vocal community. And when I mean vocal, I mean hundreds and thousands of comments that we have to moderate and sift through, um, everywhere from supportive ones to ones that are fact-checking every sentence and even sometimes correcting our grammar and our spelling. Um, we are built on the voices of women that are traditionally left out of mainstream media, and the work couldn't be done without a dedicated staff, a dedicated crew of writers and editors. And let me not mislead you with the word staff. None of us get paid, actually. We do it. <laughs> it's a passion project. Um, and we do it between our other jobs. We wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Some of us are activists, we're organizers, or we're writers and speakers. Thank you again to the Sydney Hillman Foundation. Feministing started as an, out as an experiment. It was a passion project. And with the help of other blogs and other uh, bloggers, we have changed the face of feminism and in many ways changed the face of mainstream media. So thank you. This is definitely a milestone for us. Mm -hmm.